Hey there, <laughs> my name's Noni Carr. I am a counselling psychologist at Enhanced Life Psychology and I'm not quite sure why I'm wearing sunglasses because that's not the filter I chose. I'm going to see if I can change it to the filter I wanted. There we go. <laughs> it's interesting when um, Instagram does some interesting things. I was um, watching a, a video from somebody else uh, last week and they had a rather interesting, hey, consult Apollo. Um, they had a rather interesting experience where the filters, it was actually on Facebook, were rolling through, rotating through, so they kept changing. So she had lots of different um, images. Um, so I am coming to you at the very end of my day and I'm just wanting to say hey and wanting to come back a little bit to what I've been posting about so far this week and it's about uh, learning how to be calm and I did a long post on this on my um, Instagram this morning, it's on my Facebook as well and I've posted a little bit earlier uh, from the Calm app. It's this beautiful little, very short uh, video of um, a bubble that um, expands and contracts and suggests you breathe in and you breathe out with that. And it helps us calm down. The Calm app is something that I use at times for to help me uh, sleep sometimes when I'm struggling when my mind's racing and I just need something else to focus on. It sometimes is really useful um, for uh, a meditation and I often will suggest it um, to my clients as because I use it myself, I find it helpful and I suggest it to clients because it might be helpful for them too. Um, and so I've posted on breathing uh, before and about what I do, um, how I teach clients to slow their breath. Um, so I'll leave that to you to go and find that on my, it's on my YouTube channel, it's on my website, enhancelife.com.au. It's also uh, one of the videos on my Facebook page. It would have been a live video I did. But I just wanted to come to you at the end of today and just um, show you another little resource that I have that I find really, um, really nice. I don't refer to it very much with clients, but it's really nice. I'm going to show it here. Um, uh, I'm going to, actually, it's going to be better if I turn the camera around so that you can read it. So it's a book called It's Not Always Black and White. Um, and it's by Kate Knapp. Um, and... It um, has some really lovely um, little uh, drawings that she's drawn that are sometimes can be quite helpful. And yes, it's a great book. And I just wanted to show you one little one that I, um, I think is quite nice. Um, and so it, um, it's this little you know, bird throwing things away, um, just old ideas and beliefs that were taking up too much space um, and it's a really nice thing to um, remember oh I didn't know she had cards I'm gonna have to go and find those now um, but it's a really nice image that um, lets us know that sometimes we have thoughts ideas beliefs that actually aren't useful anymore and sometimes it's helpful to notice those thoughts and go actually that's not helping me right now and I'm going to put it to one side and every time it pops back into my head because sometimes these thoughts do we might be able to then put it aside again the more often we put it aside the easier it becomes to let go of those unhelpful ideas and beliefs and sometimes it's helpful to replace it with a a more helpful belief so it might be I'm no good at this it might be replaced with actually this is a challenge for me and I could work hard at it or maybe you just don't want to work hard at that particular thing or maybe you do 
Um, so that's what I wanted to come to you about. But the other thing I wanted to, I spoke about these cards uh, briefly last week um, and they are just a really fun little card, um, affirmators. Great little unicorn and a rainbow and a rabbit. And I sometimes pull one of these cards. I spoke, there's one card, the card I pulled last week was about connection. Um, and actually the card I've pulled today is on abundance. Um, and I'm going to read it to you. Um, I might show it to you as I read it. Um, so abundance. Congratulations. It seems you're due for a little, and if you go in, an infinitely big piece of abundance pie. Feel like you don't deserve it? Knock it off. It's already plated and ready to hit your table. Reluctant to take it? Shut your hole. Abundance pie is big enough to serve everybody. So get your whipped cream ready, unless you're lactose intolerant, and enjoy your well-deserved metaphorical dessert. And it's a little, it says it's a bonus card. But I think these, these um, affirmators are just a little bit of fun um, and, you know, taking the, the self-helpy kind of stuff out of some of these cards um, that we see around. And it's actually just saying, actually, we, if we think about being abundant and we think about what we want and we work towards what we want, maybe we can be abundant. So it's, it's also about opening ourselves up for what we might want, what we might deserve, or for that abundance that might come towards us. And so uh, this, is some, this, actually, this actually speaks to me tonight. So I'm going to, um, as I head home tonight at the end of the day, I'm going to think a little bit about what might I like that might uh, contribute to me feeling more abundant. And I'm going to um, have a think about how I can work towards um, having that abundance uh, in my evening tonight or my day tomorrow or the next week um, so that's what I'm going to do um, but I think I'm also going to have a think about any old beliefs and ideas that I might be able to throw out and that might be connected with the uh, not being abundant for example um, so I'm going to leave it there so thank you very much consult Apollo for um, watching along with me and hopefully those who can watch this in the next 24 hours before it disappears from Instagram live or from Instagram stories can um, get something out of it um, or and I will actually post this up on my Facebook page and my YouTube channel um, which I think is enhanced life psychology um, yes it is have to think about that so if you search enhanced life psychology you might find some other videos that I've done over the past uh, 18 months um, so I hope you all have a lovely evening or day wherever you are in the world um, so as always I work with people to help them live their most enhanced life thank you very much bye